Terebidine, which is a camping area on the banks of uh, Lake uh, Tinaru Dam. There it is down there, a little bit of water. We're right on the, on the water. And we've come here because our youngest Barabooth basic student, oh, he, one of our youngest, Jack Centifanti, who's still a teenager, has caught over 100 meteries since doing Barra Basics. Some of them are salties and some of them are fresh water. So a couple of days ago we thought we would come up here and um, go fishing with him and then Ryan came down with the flu. So that's why he's not being particularly uh, talkative at the moment. It's not just any flu, it's a man flu. It's the man flu. So he's practically requiring hospitalisation. Uh, oh, but he's, he's still fishing. But he's toughed it out. Well, you used to work. You used to have to go on charter. Sometimes you, he had people fly in from all over the world to go charter with him. And if he got the flu, it was too bad. Oh, yeah. He just had to go fishing. So, so here we are. We're in absolutely stunningly beautiful um, the tablelands. A little bit dry at the moment. Uh, and we're going to meet Jack uh, in his boat, and uh, we're going to go fishing with him and see how we go. The old gun Yoda and uh, Luke Skywalker. I'm going to start calling him Luke. Okay, I'm going to start calling him Luke. So there we go. The Tinaru Gorge and the headwaters of the Barren River was chosen as the perfect location for a dam that was big enough to supply the many regional farming communities. It was constructed between 1955 and 1958. Nowadays, there it's also a huge recreational playground for all kinds of water sport, including barramundi fishing. It was first stocked with barramundi on the 17th of December 1985. It has also been stocked with sooties and mangrove jacks. Tinaroo was once considered for stocking of Nile perch, but that idea was quickly knocked on the head when they realised that maybe that fish did not suit the ecosystem. Tinaru also became the model for many impoundments to follow. It has also given the average angler the opportunity to tangle with a large barramundi. And not just out of a boat, there are plenty of shore basing areas that can be easily accessed around the dam. Hey young fella, how you going? Good, yourself? Good mate. Yeah. yeah, so you've been catching a few, eh? Yeah, always, eh? Yeah. So you got one on, big one on fly, yes, yesterday? Yeah. Mate got one off the ramp, just the fly. Yeah? Last night, cousin got his here, his boat, live bait, got a 120 himself. Yeah, right, eh? Cool. Yeah. I said when we were coming down here, it's going to be Yoda versus Luke Skywalker. <laughs> hey? Mate, that forced me with you. This is uh, Jack Senefani. And he's done Barra Basics. And how many meteries have you caught now? Uh, I'm up to 129. 129 meteries since doing the course. And what's your PB? Uh, 125. 125. And most of those are in the dam, but you've got yep. some salties too, yeah? yeah? Got a few salties. Yeah. Both down in Cardinal and up the Cape. Oh, so. He's onto it. He's onto he's it. Look out. Yeah. And you're still at school. Are you finished school now? Or? Uh, this year's a year 11. Yes, so years, years, year, year 11. Years. So there you go, teenager. We're looking forward to seeing what's going to happen today in your home turf. Yeah. Yoda versus Luke Skywalker. Oh, I think the young fella might have the, the edge <laughs> over me. I haven't done much up here these in recent years. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and I got the man flu, so. Oh, he's. I've got an excuse already. He's, he's telling I've you. I'm prepared, I'm a fisherman. Has to tell everybody about it. What a girl. <laughs> right oh, let's okay, get into it. Let's go have some fun. Right, here we are with Jack Senefanti from Tolga. Um, Jack's one of our younger students. He did Barra Basics 2017. So how did the course improve your fishing, do you reckon? Oh, it's basically helped me find like, locations to look from. And like instead of a lot of people with the like, bigger sounders that know how to look for fish, they're just going to find and sit on the schools. I can actually go and like previously go to a point or go to a bay that the fish should be pushing up to at certain times. You won a uh, junior angler at... Uh... Yeah, junior angler at um, Cardinal Barra Bonanza, two, two, two years in a row, and then got third place in senior this year in the Tinaru Barra Bash. So you're sick of competing against the juniors now, you're going up to the yeah, senior, going, yeah? Yeah, going to the senior, get a bit more of a challenge against me. Yeah, and bigger prizes yeah, too. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So would you recommend Barra Basics to people wanting to catch a barra in the salt or the fresh? Yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. Like, well, like I said, I've 
I only caught a hand few without the course, and as soon as I caught, like, finished completing the course on line, I basically came straight out, and within the first week or so, I would already racked up five or six metres. Right, and now you're doing it with your dad, you got your cousins yeah, involved, dad, your best cousins, mates, you're all metery killers now, or well, not mates. killers, but catchers, yeah. yeah. That was really good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to watch your angling evol evolve. And um, what's the goal for this year is 100 metres in a year. Yeah, aim is to get 100 metres this year and kick off the 130 in, in that progress. Right on. And how are you going? We're, what, uh, we're the 10th to, of January or something? Up to 14 metres and like, just with mates and family in the boat, I'm proud to about 26. Wow. Hit the boat. Okay, well, there you go. That's what happens when you do Barra Basics. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Cheers, thanks, mate. Easy. And speaking of Barra Basics, first fish on deck for Jack today, around about 80, you reckon? Yeah, about that. Yeah, around the 80 mark. He already got the first hit, but he lost it. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> I'm slipping in my old age, young fella. <laughs> That's that single treble too. Single treble, yeah. yeah. Juicy snag. Here you go, that 80. Nice little tinnery barra. Yeah. Best part about this dam, you've got so many different sizes made, eh? They... Yeah, that's it. Especially with the stocking society, constantly stocking them. They do a great job. go. Gee, the clean fish, aren't they? Yeah. Very clean fish. Oh, well done, young fella. Oh, Good on you, champ. What do you reckon, boys? Not over a metre, this one? No, no. You go about 80. Nice, healthy fish, though, aren't they? Good work, mate. Woohoo! So, mate, you uh, see a few interesting things on the dam occasionally. What's one of the most uh, funny things you've seen? Oh, I reckon one of the most was the other night. We were just we were sitting there with a couple of liveys out the back on the school of about 15 to, say, 30 fish. And then just all of a sudden we started, heard a buff and shine a light and there's actually a barra feeding on little ducks. Little baby ducks. <laughs> about 15, 20 minutes later, there were another six or seven buffs, say. And then one ate a full-grown duck. And I was like, surely it's time to throw the swim bait. Good old KFC, uh, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose GTs uh, chase birds in certain places overseas yeah. and that, so I guess if it's a food source and it's splashing on the surface, it's fair game. Yeah, that's it. So about 10 to 15 casts later, I managed to get myself a 118 Whoa. on a big wow. water swim bait. So tonight, mate, we're going to do a little bit of fishing tonight as well? Yeah, well, i got a little bit of a shallower spot than this one, and mm -hmm. there's been about maybe 100 fish sit there lately. And we're just going to chuck out a few live baits and hopefully get a few. But yep. last week, two weeks, we've had six barra spoolers. Wow. Like you've locked up the drag and tried chasing them and you haven't been able to pull them up. Absolute monsters. Yeah. I guess they've um, been stocking this place for quite some time and any of those fish from earlier in the piece would be pretty yeah. pretty huge by now, wouldn't they? About three months ago they did the electro fishing and I think the biggest recorded one they got was a 147. Electro fish out of the that's very close to where I'll be fishing tonight. Wow, that's huge, isn't it? Late afternoon and early evening went a little downhill on us, just like my health. So by 10.30, we pulled the pin and left Jack with it. So the next day, I was expecting to see uh, some kind of results from the young fella, and uh, we certainly did. So last night, we piped out on Jack at about 10, because uh, Bugalug's here's got the man flu. Okay, big sissy. Oh well, these things happen. And uh, this morning, uh, Jack tells us. He messaged us and messaged showed us. Messaged us and showed us. He got seven fish after we left between 1.30 and 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Six over a metre. Yeah, this smallest. is the smallest. What, a 112 on fly. Mm. And here you were lying asleep. Well, I knew there was another bite period coming up in two hours, but I just couldn't sit it out any longer. But um, we'll come back and give it another go and 
be prepared for an all-nighter. Yeah. So Barra Basics works and Tinaroo is a great little fishery. I mean, Jack's caught over 100 metres now. Yeah. And so he's um, doing the course and he's also transferred his abilities over to the salt. Mm, as well. He's got some good fish in the salt. So still at high school. And here we are at Tinaroo, uh, Camp Barabadeen, and it's just beautiful. It's in the shade of the trees. You can put the boat in uh, and leave it in the water. And um, it's just a stunning little spot. Hot showers, quiet, beautiful place to camp, isn't it? And big barra. And big barra, <laughs> for sure. So until next time, Tinaroo, I'm coming back to get you. Yeah. <laughs>